Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mateo. We back. Motivational Monday. 12. Park Card Conversations. You know we're going to get real in here like we always do. But before we get started, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching this video. For those who's constantly supporting me, constantly have something nice to say, constantly reaching out. I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. The support is unreal. And without you guys, none of this is possible. I love delivering these messages to you guys. I love giving you guys this energy. I love motivating you guys. That's all it is. It's just me just being the messenger, that vessel that just lines up perfectly to just deliver. And that's all we're going to do. So jumping into this week, I just want to start off by saying it's a you versus you challenge. This week and every day, take these videos and just piggyback off each other. So what I mean by you versus you is that you got to wake up every day and choose what you're going, what you're going to do. You're going to stand in there and fight. But you got to fight for something. You might as well fight for yourself. You have to fight for yourself. And what I mean by fight for yourself is just truly you want to gain something. You want to gain something because it's always going to be you versus you. You're always going to be stacked against circumstances. You're always going to get pitched a curveball. That's just how life is. It's not always peachy. It's not not for me, not for you. It's not always peach, peachy. There's struggles. There's trials, there's tribulations, there's, it's all of that. I'm going to give you three simple steps. Three simple steps on how to win that you versus you challenge. Number one is elevate your mind. Elevate your mind by obtaining new knowledge. Seek new knowledge, whether it be podcasts, whether it be books, whether it's being around so-and-so. Just learn to adapt new perspectives. You have to. My favorite perspective that I've learned and I've adapted over time was stop playing victim. Stop looking at life as, oh, why is this happening to me? Or why me? Why me? I learned to adjust and just simply think, what can I learn from this? What am I being taught here? How is this helping me become a better person for tomorrow? That's basically how it is. You got to elevate your mind. Change your mindset. Your mindset is everything. That's the starting point. Number one. Remember that. Number one. Your mindset is the starting point. How you wake up in the morning, you go about things, that sets everything up. When you get smacked in the face by life and how you respond and how you see it, that's everything. When you down and out. And your mindset is where it needs to be. You always go win. That's number one. Speaking about down and out, number two is don't quit. You can't quit. Don't quit. Life gets hard. It does for every, each and every last one of us. Man, I had this past year was so crazy for me. As we go throughout the videos, you guys understand more and more. But I had every opportunity to quit, but I didn't. And I thank myself every day for that. I wake up in the morning and I say positive affirmations that I won't quit. No matter what I do, I won't quit. If it's not draining me to the core and it's not, you know, beating me down, don't quit. You guys know what I mean. Let's, let's apply application. Don't put yourself in anywhere where you, you're going to be having that, that battle or should I quit? That's not what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. It's about that diet. And you have one bad day where you stray off. And then you're just like, oh, to hell with it. That's what I'm talking about. It's about starting a project that you said you was going to do. And you're not going to fulfill it. Why? Because you're making excuses for yourself. That's what I'm talking about. It's about when you feel like all the odds are stacked against you. But you don't know that a breakthrough is coming. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes you got to lose something to gain something. And what I mean by lose something, sometimes you got to set your pride aside. Sometimes you got to set your ego aside. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes we're just so prideful. We're like, man, I ain't going to take this. That's what I mean. Don't quit. Don't quit on yourself. Don't quit on yourself. Do what you love. Love yourself. That's number three. Love yourself is number three. The three steps. Elevate your mind. Don't quit. And love yourself. You got to love yourself. Spoil yourself. I don't necessarily mean materialistic. That's not what I'm talking about. But I do advise if that's what makes you happy, buy yourself something every time you get paid. 
Buy your favorite meal. Go eat your favorite meal. Go buy you that sweater that you wanted. That you can feel all nice and warm inside with. Whatever lights you up, do that. Spend time with your family. Go for a brisk walk. Clear your head. Self-care is truly, truly key in all of this. You have to. I don't mean just throwing on a face mask with cucumbers over your eyes. I don't mean all that. But if that's what makes you happy and that's self-care to you, then you do that. I'm talking self-care for your mental. Read a book. Something that just relaxes you. Something that you know that's just going to put you in a place of peace. That's loving yourself. Loving yourself is protecting your peace. And all three of those things go hand in hand. Elevating your mind. Setting your mindset to be great every single day. Telling yourself that you're going to be great is going to lead to you not being able to quit. And when you don't quit, you're always going to be undefeated. Can't nobody touch you. Because you love yourself. Because you love yourself. There's just going to be this aura about you. It's just going to be protected. That, that, that peace shield is just going to be over you. And nothing's going to be able to touch you the way it does. Because your mind is sharp. You're not quitting because of that. And because you love yourself. Take those three things. I'm telling you. Apply that to your life this week. And y'all let me know how much it elevates you just for that week. Then just imagine as you, as you do that one week at a time. And then two weeks at a time. Then three weeks at a time. Rather one day at a time. Two days at a time. Three days at a time. You start to gain this confidence that your mind is just somewhere else. And you're like, dang, my mind is at a place of peace, you know, 98% of the time. But like we said last week, don't let nobody get you out of character. But again, not even people, but just life in itself. Because life helps you. Life can get you out of character. It smacks you in the face. You get out of character real quick. I've been there before. You've been there before. So, you know. But again, when your mind is sharp, boom. It's on all cylinders. Boom, 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 boom. So that happens to you, brush it off. But that leads you to not quit. And in the ultimate sense, you're just loving yourself. I'm telling you. Key to success for the day. Those three things. And everything starts to align and fall into place. Remember who you are. Remember you are worthy. Remember you are worthy of love. You are worthy of grace, of mercies, of everything. Everything you want in this life is yours. Everything you want in life is yours. And you are worthy of it. Elevate your mind. Don't quit and love yourself. Because I love you. Have a blessed one, y'all.